Okay, P3-29 is in inches. Just notice the scale e four, e uh, 4 to 1. Uh, that really doesn't affect us as far as, uh, as size, so we can ignore those. Uh, we're going to the, uh, to the dimensions that we're given. Looking at this place, I can gener uh, generate the uh, cylinder, and then we'll create some, some notches, and so we'll end up with a couple, two or three features here. And right, so we're going to open up our inch template, and I'll open up a sketch on the front plane. And looking for that inference back to the origin. So when those uh, yellow boxes pop up, a lot of times it's just a glance to make sure that it is able to add that relation. And then just real quick, if I come back to the center, I'll see that coincident, which was the symbol that was in the, uh, in the yellow box. All right, so for the cylinder then, we're going to extrude. Um, I want it to go the other way, mainly because the geometry is going to kind of stack up that way. And we have a distance of 2 inch, 750 thousandths. All right, so opening up the sketch on the front, we have a vertical line separating, bisecting the part. And then I'm going to go and stay with the center rectangle and it is half an inch so 0.25 and 0.25 uh, don't see any any reason to split that up but if I did let's see what that would look like so I'm just going to control Z a couple times go to the origin go to the line and 0.25 Pretty much has the same effect. All right, and then the depth is 0.31, so we'll stay with those selections. And then now I have to, uh, let's see, this is going 1.13 deep. I have to make the selections for the cut, so 1.13, and then the contours. And like I said a lot of times I like to see the contour first and then have the preview, but it's just as handy to pick for the depth. So, not sure what the criteria is. I, th I think sometimes the uh, the center lines um, become part of the selection, and then, like now, they're just included in the other uh, region. So, I'm gonna have to pay a little bit more attention to that. See what's uh, what's going on there. So, hit OK. We're not really given a dimension to the flat, but by virtue of there is not a line there separating that base that is consistent all the way across. So when I open up a sketch on the inside, we're going to pick, and this would be something that I could put a, uh, a rectangle. And a lot of times I would uh, you know, maybe convert the entities or try to uh, make the shape a little more uh, or a little closer to the uh, to the form. But as long as I go either coincident or tangent, right, that's going to bring the box in, and we'll go tangent one more time. And so that just gives me a cutting tool that removes all of the material that I need for uh, for this shape. And then I'm given a dimension of 1.13 off of the back. So this would be a type of offset. All right, so we're going to extrude the cut. And then my distance is offset from surface. And when I come over and pick the surface, all right, so this one happened to be going the right way, and we retain the number 1.13. So if it did not give me this nice preview, 
I would reverse the offset, which sends it 1.13 past. We're not really translating anything in the surface. This is planar and the result is planar. But if this had some curvature or dome to it and we wanted this to follow the, the curvature, then uh, we could translate. And flipping the side to cut would remove the material from the outside, which we don't really have. Uh, maybe portions, uh, portion over here. And we're not really worried about the, uh, the rest of these, so go ahead and hit OK and have our shape. Alright, so ready to save this one.